Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a quick reading for you guys. This is a daily reading. So, somebody's probably not happy, because somebody could be trapped, or somebody feels trapped. Collector, somebody could be losing sleep, they worry, replaying events, thinking about you. Somebody could have got caught in a lie. Somebody could be getting karma. Somebody could be going through some type of chaos, an ego, a ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. This could be somebody that's married or a collective. Um, you could have. This is someone you're married to, or this is somebody that's just married. Um, collective. Um, somebody could be getting karma for making secret accounts. This person might stop today. Somebody could be moving on, letting go, loving you, free. This could have been somebody you was married to. Or somebody that was married doing this to you. I heard damned, damned if I do, damned if I don't. I also heard somebody want money from someone. Somebody feels trapped because they can't get money from someone. Something could be going on with the with the police. Somebody's ashamed. They have some type of guilt, embarrassed in the wrong. Somebody could be learning a karmic lesson. And it's something to do with a side hustle. So collective, maybe someone wanted to... Um, it's like somebody didn't want to work. And they could have been trying to use you for money. And it's like they feel trapped because they don't want to do this side hustle. Somebody don't want to get a job. Or somebody did something um, at their job or something. And they could be in trouble. Somebody also probably need money for a lawyer. Or something. Somebody could be trying to um, get uh, save up for bond money or something. Somebody could be in trouble. I heard something didn't work. So somebody going to get bad news because something didn't work. Somebody could have been hacking too. Or trying to. So collective, if somebody that's that you're married to or somebody that's married that was trying to like hack, somebody could have been trying to like steal from you, like hack into like your banking banking uh, system or something like that or your banking account, they're going to get bad news because something's not going to work. Yeah, somebody could be a thug. A thug is going to get some shocking news. I heard somebody was trying to do something with the app. And it's not going to work. Somebody was trying to do something with the app. Collective, somebody could have also had an account in your name so the secret accounts could have the secret accounts don't necessarily have to be somebody spying on you but collective somebody made a an account with like your name on it or your picture on it and you didn't know so somebody could be trying to um and um imp impersonate you and something not gonna work somebody could be trying to get like an online Somebody trying to do something online with your credentials and it's something not going to work. Or somebody was using your picture, but it's not going to work. Yeah. Somebody was trying to do something. I also heard this person has done this before, but um, this time they're going to get caught. I'm also hearing, say like um, somebody is like, um, a case could be pending and this person could be like, um, they're free, but a case is, a, is pending 
in the same charges that's pending, that's the crime this person is committing and they're going to get caught. So say like somebody got let out on bond or something, but the charges is like hacking or fraud. It's like while this person is free, they're still trying to hack or something like that. And somebody going to get caught. Or like if they don't get caught on the 3D, they're going to get caught on a 5D. So if they get caught on a 3D, they might go, they, they're going to jail or going back to jail. If they get caught on a 5D, whatever they're trying to hack is going to get stuck. Or something like that. All right, Spirit, give me an oracle for the collective. Yeah, the mermaid of immersion. Complete commitment. So the numbers 44, the numbers 8 could be significant. April the 4th could be significant. So some type of complete commitment. This could be a female doing this or a collective. You could be a female. Or this is a female doing something to you guys. Or it's a man in his feminine energy. Or collective, you could be a man in your feminine energy. Y'all could be married to somebody that's doing something they're not supposed to do. All right, Spirit, give me a message. Or well, somebody that's married is doing something they're not supposed to do. We have openness. I heard constellation. Adventures. So somebody could be learning like a um somebody could be learning something about the constellation or um something like that or somebody studying like zodiacs astrology or things like that stand still so something might become stagnant. I'm hearing don't worry. And then we have inner peace. So collective spirit wants you to have some type of inner peace about something. Y'all might have to let go of a person, place, um, or thing. I heard an idea. Let go of an idea. I heard don't worry about something. So collective, something you or somebody else was trying to do, it might get stuck. So some of y'all probably need like some inner peace about something becoming stagnant. Y'all could be a Pisces, don't have to be. Or y'all have Pisces placements or dealing with a Pisces. And then be assertive. Some of y'all might also stop doing something. Y'all might stop supporting someone. I heard you're not going to let someone in. And the spirit is telling you be assertive. Be fair about something or, or thoroughly explain yourself to someone about why you're not going to let them in or why you don't want to do something no more. Or why you want to do something alone or by yourself. So something just might just come like to a halt. Like something is like just going to stop or something like that. Or you don't want to work with someone anymore. You probably want to do something alone or something. Collective, for some of you guys, you could be doing something and somebody is like shocked. Somebody's shocked. It's like this person that could be like um, stuck. Because they're shocked. Concerning your complete commitment. Astonished. In awe. 
because of your adventures or something like that. All right, Spirit, give me advice for the collective. Yeah, courage. And failure, yeah. So, your advice is to find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Some of y'all want to ask somebody something as well. But it's like you got to build up the courage to ask somebody something. Find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And I heard it's a question. Somebody want to ask somebody something. Um, and then we have failure. It's, it's, it say, understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So y'all could have made a mistake or somebody else made a mistake. Yeah, then we got um, big happy changes at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so collective, you might experience big happy changes. Somebody could have been trying to blackmail you. So collective, um, somebody that was trying to blackmail you, it was a mistake for this person. So collective, y'all could have been trying to teach somebody a lesson and spirit telling you let it go. Um, the universe is going to give this person karma and teach this person a lesson. So y'all could have been trying to teach somebody a lesson. And spirit telling you, stand still, stop, leave it alone. Because this person gonna get is going to get karma. Um, the universe is going to get this person karma. So for some of you guys, you, you're going to experience big happy changes when you just let something go. And let nature take its course or let this person naturally get karma. And then we have no need to worry. So y'all could have been trying to fight a battle that wasn't for you to fight. Your angels and ancestors could be telling you, let it go, let us handle it, or let your angels and ancestors handle something. Um, Collective, for some of you guys, I heard your only job is to ask someone a question. That's your only job. Once you ask the person this, a question or say what you got to say, leave it at that. Because somebody could have been trying to blackmail y'all, and it was a mistake on this person's part to try to blackmail you. It was a mistake. So collective, somebody is going to learn their karmic lesson. But you might you might have to let it go or forgive this person or just let something go. Yeah, it was a mistake for someone to blackmail someone. Yeah. So collective, if y'all wanted somebody to learn let it go let it go and this person gonna learn about blackmailing yep somebody's going to experience failure because it was a mistake to blackmail someone collective somebody you're connected to or somebody you're committed to they might experience failure. So, collective, you might ask someone, why did you do that? Like, why? And, collective, it's only an opportunity for this person to learn. So, somebody was trying to do this to you or, collective, someone you're connected to was trying to do this to somebody else. Or, y'all could have been trying to make somebody stop. You could have been telling somebody to stop. Or you were trying to fix a situation to where somebody stopped doing something to you or somebody else. And collective, this person want to listen to you. But I heard all your job is to act, just ask this person a question. So collective, y'all could be a little scared to ask somebody a question. Y'all could have been a little intimidated to ask somebody a question. 
But you're going to experience big happy changes. When you find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I also heard it was something that you guys didn't know. Um, Because I saw intuitively, I saw in the card courage. I saw to face fear alone. Alone. So collective, say like you at work and you wanted to talk to your boss or collective, you and your coworker got the same problem. And you and your coworker could have went together, like to your boss, to confront your boss together. And it's like collective, your boss rejects you and say, you know, not right now or whatever. Collective, for some of you guys, your boss, whoever you're with, your boss or somebody don't like somebody. But collective, if you confront this person alone, they're going to accept you or receive you or tell you something. Somebody don't want you to know that they don't like someone. So, collective, I'm hearing this. Something is not what you think it is. I heard somebody likes you, but they don't like the person you're connected to. And that's why you're getting rejected or something not going your way. But for whatever's going on, it's like collective, this person couldn't come out and say, I don't like such and such. But if you confront this person alone, something's going to go better than what you expected. Because I heard somebody don't like somebody. Or, collective, if it was two people trying to, like, confront you. Don't allow these two people to confront you at the same time. It's like... Only accept or hear what somebody got to say if they come by themselves or something like that. So it could have been, it could be two people trying to confront you or something like that. And, um, collective, um, I'm hearing like if, if one person come in your energy, be open. But if it's both of them, don't be open to that or something like that. So, collective, you could be dealing with somebody that's married or a married couple. And um, something not what it appears to, to be. The grass was greener because it was fake. Yeah. So, collective, if you do something alone, something's going to turn out better than what you thought. Collective, if it's two people trying to confront you at the same time, only allow something if if just one person approach you or something like that. Because something is fake or somebody being fake. And I heard something's not fair. But for it to be fair, it needs to be one-on-one. -on -one. For something to be fair, it should be one-on-one. -on -one or something like that. Because something or someone being fake. All right, Spirit, what's going on? Yeah, trust your intuition. So, collective, trust your intuition about a person, place, or thing, or situation, or idea. Have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. So, collective, you're right about something. Trust your intuition because somebody in your energy should have an attitude of gratitude. And know your truth, yeah. Collective, you could have gave somebody something. And this person went back and told the other person, the other party, that you didn't give them something. Or something like that. Because collective love is your energy. So collective, know your truth. So something could be going on with a receipt. Collective, you probably don't have tr the you probably don't have proof of something, or you don't have a receipt, or somebody threw away their receipt, 
or something. But collective, know your truth because somebody could be lying to you. One person is two people, but one person could be lying to you and the other person or collective. Both of these people lying or something like that. So somebody should have an attitude of gratitude. Something could be going on with money or something like that. And somebody trying to get like a double payment or something. Somebody trying to do something. Yeah, so trust your intuition. Because somebody should have an attitude of gratitude and collective know your truth. Collective, for other you guys, you could be dealing with a lover. And your lover could already be married. And collective, your lover want you and, and their spouse. And collective, somebody should have an attitude of gratitude that they already have someone. And they don't need you and their spouse. Or something like that. And collective, know your truth. Whatever this is. Somebody could be saying that you knew something that you didn't know. Or somebody could be trying to tell you, oh, you knew. You knew two days ago. And collective, you like, no, I didn't. I just found out five minutes ago. I didn't know two days ago or something like that. So, collective, you could have already gave somebody something. This is money or the time of day. And you could be pulling back your energy. Or something going on with a receipt or something. But, collective, know your truth. Because something is not easily proven. But somebody lying to you or, like, a, another person about something. So, this could be in work, love, or life. But somebody trying to blackmail somebody. Or collective, you don't have to be in like a victim. You could just be like mediating something. So it could be somebody lying on a spouse or something. Or these two people that's married, they're lying about about something. Well, collective, you could be the mediator about something. And somebody lying on somebody. I also heard something's going to unfold naturally. Or something's going to get revealed naturally. So, collective, you really don't have to get involved in this situation or something like that. Or you don't have to say too much or something. Whatever this is. We got false accusations over there. All right, Spirit, why is somebody mad at the collective today? You would dog walk them in a fight. So this could be a physical fight, a legal fight, legality, or a spiritual fight. But collective, somebody know you would dog walk them in a fight. And that's why they could be trying to blackmail somebody. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody could be afraid of you because they're guilty. And this person don't want to don't want to approach you alone because they're guilty. Because this person know you would dog walk them in a fight. So, collective, this could be somebody want to do spell work on you. And I heard because of, lo because of the logistics of this spell work, this person know how to do spell work. But they don't want to do it. They want to go get a practitioner to do it. Because they're aware of the logistics of something. So it's like somebody don't want to come at you alone or come at you directly. Or something like that. Because somebody know you would dog walk them in a fight. So this is the logistics of something. Or somebody got to team up with somebody to come up against you. But for some of y'all, this is spell work, dark magic. And somebody, I heard this person knows, they know how to do the the, the spell that they want to do. But 
they're going to go hire a practitioner or something. Somebody's hiding behind somebody else. Because they know if they come at you alone, you would dog walk them in a fight or something. So this could be like 3D legalities, a court case. Or this is like somebody doing spell work or dark magic. Or this could be a physical fight or something. So collective, somebody could have offended you. And they might go get their spouse or something. Yeah, somebody could have offended y'all. And is, this person might try to go get their spouse. And somebody might confront you while they're while they're with their with their spouse or something. Or collective, this is something physical. And don't let these two people in. Y'all could be a business owner. And collective, something could have happened. And it's like these people could be trying to like um y'all might have to lock the door or close the door or something. And collective, you might have to say, no, I, one of y'all could come in, both of y'all ain't coming in here because y'all not jumping on me or something like that. So something, this could be in business, like y'all at work or something. And some, it's like two people like coming up to your job and trying to get in and you like, nah, I, I talked to one of y'all. I let one of y'all and not both of y'all or something because something should be fair. Or something like that. Spirit, give me one more. You changed your number. Somebody could be mad because you changed your number. There aren't nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Collective, somebody could be trying to make you talk to them. Collective, I also heard that um, somebody that's married could be obsessed with you. This person is so obsessed to the point that they'll go get their spouse. Collective, you could be a third party and somebody so desperate that they'll go get their spouse to like confront you. But it's like this person trying to find a way to get your phone number or something because you changed your number. So somebody could be trying to find a way to get your phone number or something like that because you changed your number. So something could be going on. I heard something sneaky going on. Or something. Okay. Collective, you could be the Becky with the good hair. So some of y'all could be the third party. Or you literally the Becky with the good hair. Or you the third party or something. But it ain't nothing to talk about yet. So collective, y'all could have been messing around with a married man or something. Or, um, yeah. Or collective, you could be the third party. Um, it's like you the main lover, you're the spouse, but it's like your lover could be cheating on you with with somebody else or something. So it's like you 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 was once the spouse, but now it's like you the third party or something. <sighs> yeah. So y'all change y'all number because y'all don't want to talk to somebody. And they have to stay bad. So somebody could be trying to get your number or make you talk to them. Collective, you could have found out that somebody was married and you blocked them or you changed their number. Or you found out your spouse was cheating on you and you blocked them, you could have changed their number. So, Collective, you could be, I heard you're behaving like the third party and your spouse could be mad at you because you're behaving like the third party. <laughs> or Collective, um, you found out somebody was married or something, you could have changed their number. So, somebody could be trying to make you talk to them or something like that. Or somebody trying to figure out a way to get your phone number. I also heard collective somebody's spouse don't really know what's going on for some of y'all. So somebody could be doing something risky. It's like collective, you could have been messing around with this man. You didn't know he was married. You found out he was married. And this man might show up at your job with his spouse in the car. And it's like he's daring you to say something. So this man could be telling his wife to like go get your business card or something or go talk to you or something it's a man doing something risky 
And it's like, collective, what this man going to do if you actually tell his wife, like, who you are? It's like, what is he going to do? It's like somebody could be trying to call your bluff or something. Somebody could be trying to call your bluff. It's like this man's wife don't know who you is, but you and him know what's going on. But it's like this man's wife don't know. And he could be making her do something. Somebody trying to get your phone number or they're trying to make you talk to the, talk to them. Or this man saying, if you won't talk to me, I'll make you talk to my wife or something like that. Somebody doing something, a man doing something. So, collective, you might have to tell somebody something that you didn't want to tell them. Somebody husband could be obsessed with y'all. And I'm, I'm hearing this man don't care or this man doing something risky. So find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Collective, y'all might have to tell a woman something, something she didn't know or something like that. Spirit, what's, um, yeah, they had a baby by you. Yeah. So collective, this could be your child's father. <sighs> collective, y'all could have had a, a secret child by a married man. So this man could be mad at you because he had a baby by you or something. But it's like he could be married. So for some of y'all, this man's wife don't know. For other you guys, she know. And they both might still confront you. Or somebody trying to get your, your new phone number. This could also be this man's wife trying to get your number or somebody looking for you or something. So this could be his, his wife or something because you had a baby by this man or something. So it's a man out here that could be a player. Or collective, it's a man that's trying to make you be committed to him, but you like my kids come first. So maybe y'all not married. And it's a man that's trying to force your hand and you like, no, my kids come first. Or something could be going on at work and collective, you could be ignoring someone because you like, my kids come first. I have to keep my job because I have kids. So collective, you could be completely committed to like your children or something like that. And somebody could be trying to do something to like provoke you and you like, no. I'm committed to my kids or something like that. So it's like you got to ignore somebody to keep your job. Or y'all might have to call the cops on somebody. Or don't go outside. Or I heard don't let them in or something like that. Or well, it's like collective. You could be saying, I'll talk to you because I have kids by you. I don't need... I don't, I, don't tell your wife to come in here or collective your child's father could be acting up in you and you could be saying i'll talk to your wife i ain't talking to you because you ain't got no sense or something like that collective for some of you guys for somebody take the messages as it resonates it could be some baby daddy baby mama drama going on and collective You could be saying to someone, I'll meet up with you. I'll come by myself if you come by yourself. Or something like that. Because um, I heard somebody, um, I heard collective, you shouldn't bring your family with you. Because something might get out of hand. Or your family member going to say something. And it's like somebody going to get to fighting. Because your family member or whoever you take to this meeting with you might say something. And somebody might get to fighting or something going to get out of line. So, collective, for some of you guys, I heard you do something alone. Because whoever this person you might bring with you, they might say something or do something. So, find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. But intuitively, I heard and I saw alone. Like, do something alone. So, you might have to say, I'll come alone. I'll come by myself if you come by yourself. Or something like that. Or collective, you can you can handle this married couple by yourself. 
So collective, say like if you have like kids by a married man or you had kids by this man and he went off and married somebody else. So, and it's like your boyfriend want to come with you to meet up with your child's father and his wife. It's like collective, something might happen. Or your brother or your uncle or something like that. I heard somebody's going to say something and something going to get out of hand. So it's like collective, it's best that you go alone. So you could be trying to meet up with your child's mother or your child's father, but they could be married and something might get out of hand because somebody going to say something. <clears throat> Collective, for some of you guys, you could have moved and your child's father want to know your new address. And you like, no, I'll meet you at the police station. And your child's father pissed off because they want to know where you moved to. But collective, your child's father should have an attitude of gratitude that you're um a, um you're not giving your child's father a hard time to see the kids. So y'all could be saying, what's the big deal? You saying you want to see the kids. I'm just not letting you know where I live at. So meet me at the police station. You either want to see the kids or you don't. Or something. So collective, know your truth. It could be some baby daddy, baby mama drama going on. Um, collective, for some of you guys, I heard your child's father might say, why you won't let me know where you live at? You homeless? Because if you homeless, I'm going to take the kids from you. Collective, know your truth. You probably don't want your child's father to know where you live at for, like, safety purposes. And somebody's saying, why you won't let me know where you live at? Because you, you homeless? Or you on drugs or something? Somebody's saying. But collective, somebody should have an attitude of gratitude. It's like you're, um, you're, um, you're compromising with someone... But they're giving you a hard time about the compromise. Or something like that. Or collective, somebody want to fight you. And um, you not fighting this person. Because you know you would dog walk them in a fight. And they know it too. Yeah. So collective, you could be saying, I know if we get into a fight, I'm going to win. That don't mean just because I'm going to win, that don't mean I'm going to fight you. Meet me at the police station or something like that. So collective, you could be trying to be mature about a situation or high vibrational. And somebody's still trying to like work around your high vibration. That's what this is. Somebody's trying to work around your high vibration or your intuition. Because it ain't nothing else to talk about. Or collective, you're talking, you want a mediator. Because it's like you saying, I'm not talking to you. Or something like that. Or collective, you're a professional of some sort. And you could be dismissing someone. Or telling somebody, get back, I'm not letting you in. Y'all could be the professional. And you like, you know what? Ain't nothing else to talk about. This is the end of this session. Don't come back to my establishment. Or you could be saying, I'll see you next week or something. So y'all could also be a professional too. And it's like one of your clients or something is getting like out of hand or something. For some of you guys, I heard collective, you could be more um, in stature. You're physical. You're bigger than someone. You're bigger than somebody, like physically. And this person know you a dog walk them up in the fight. I also heard collective somebody doing spell work or, or dark magic on you, and they have to get close to you for whatever reason. I don't know if somebody want to come to your home to get something of yours to, like, solidify the spell work. But I heard this person... It's trying to work around your intuition or they're trying to finish a spell. And they got to get close to you to finish it. And you could be blocking this person. You like, no, I know why you want to get to my house. You're not getting not nothing that belongs to me. You're not getting my a piece of my clothing. No. 
or a collective somebody obsessed with you and this person just want to be next to you or something <laughs> this could be somebody that's married and collective this uh this man's wife don't know that this man obsessed with you or something it's like this man want to see you or smell you or something like that so collective for some of you guys your child's father or this married man that you used to mess around with, he can have an obsession with you. And his wife is saying you're scared of her. <laughs> and collective, th this man's wife don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <coughs> so collective, trust your intuition and know your truth. This man's wife probably want to fight you. All right, spirit, um, what's the positive changes the collective can expect between now and the next 24 hours? Take the next step now. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody don't want you to do something legally. Or somebody don't want you to expose something about um something that you know, like the logistics or the details of like some type of spell work or dark magic. Somebody don't want you to say something. They don't want you to say something or somebody don't want you to take legal action. Or somebody is like, no, I'm not meeting you at a police station. You like, yes, you are. Or something. Or you saying, why not? Collective, somebody could also be saying you're after them. Or you up to something. And collective, you saying, if I have a hidden agenda... Why would I be suggesting that we meet up at a police station if I have a hidden agenda? But it's really them that have a hidden agenda. Sentimental feelings. Or collective, you could be married and your lover could have had an outside baby. And you like, uh, 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 police station or something. So collective, maybe, um your um spouse baby mother or something it's like she wants to get in touch with your spouse or something or she want to still have sex with your spouse or something or something so sentiment sentimental feeling and one fall yeah Collective, somebody's going to realize something or you're going to realize something. And you might feel sorry for somebody or somebody's going to feel sorry for you. Yeah. Somebody's going to realize something. So y'all could have been, y'all could have truly been a victim of stalking. Or collective, you're going to realize this me and wife really don't know what's going on. And you might feel sorry for somebody or somebody's going to feel sorry for you. Because they're going to realize something. Or when, uh, yeah, then a windfall, positive changes. I'm also picking up, um, you put them on child support, yeah. So something going on with baby daddy, baby mama drama or something. Um, collective, for some of you guys, somebody could be getting like a, a um, a windfall of money. But, um, this is like a, um... I'm going to give an example. Collective, say like somebody was at work and they got their arm chopped off or they got their foot chopped off. It's like this person getting a windfall of money, but it's like collective. It's like how can I put this? It's like collective. You like, I don't want to have to lose a limb to get a windfall. It's like you feel sorry for somebody or Collective, you could be saying, uh, I wish I had that much money, but I'm, it's like somebody had to lose something to like get a windfall of money or something like that. Collective, you could be trying to also avoid something. Something could be going on at work. 
And you like, uh uh, I'm taking precautions because I don't want no, I don't want to have to lose a limb to get a windfall of money or something like that. Or something like that. Or, collective, you could be a victim of something and somebody saying you did something on purpose because you wanted money. So, y'all could have got hurt at work and somebody saying, oh, you just did that on purpose because you wanted a windfall of money. Collective, somebody is unreasonable. Collective, you might get this windfall because of something crazy somebody going to say to you. So, collective, say, like, you was in that establishment, and you can have children, and collective, something happened to you, like your health, or something happened, and y'all could be in court, and this business owner gonna say, oh, I think the collective did it on purpose, and it's like, collective, it's like, you or the judge is gonna say, how dare you? I have children. I need to be in my best of health. I wouldn't dare put myself in harm's way or cause myself injury, severe injury, to get a windfall of money when I can get up and go to work every day. So somebody could be trying to say you a freeloader or you a con or something because you got injured in their establishment or something. Or something, somebody, a judge might cuss somebody out or collective, you won't cuss somebody out. It's something somebody going to say that's just outrageous. Somebody going to say something outrageous and collective, somebody's going to have sentimental feelings regarding you. Y'all could have been dealing with an idiot or somebody that's like vicious or inconsiderate or something. Or collective, this this man's wife might realize something. What this man did to you or something like that. Something. So collective, that's positive changes you can expect between now and the next 24 hours. Take the next step now. So you or somebody else. Sentimental feelings. You or somebody else in some type of windfall. But these positive changes, this could be you directly or it's affecting you in a positive way indirectly. Spirit, give me an angel answer for the collective. Somebody out here is like... Um, some What's the word, um, this energy I'm picking up on? Um... um this person is uh unbelievable this person this person could be a narcissist they could something they're just unbelievable meditation brings answers yeah so collective spirit wants y'all to meditate for answers y'all could also be dealing with a liar and it's not the right time Somebody could be keeping secrets. Y'all could be dealing with a liar. Something is not, like, obvious. So, y'all have to meditate for answers. Because y'all could be dealing with a narcissist, a liar. And, on top of that, something's not the right time. So, that's what it could be, too. Why something's not working or something. It's probably just not the right time. Or maybe you just want to know why it's not the right time. Y'all could be some y'all could be the victim of somebody trying to blackmail you. Collective, if somebody's trying to blackmail you, something might naturally get exposed. And I heard you're gonna be set free. So collective, this person that's trying to blackmail you. Something might happen naturally. 
this person might pass away. Um, collective, something that you didn't know about this person might get exposed. And then it's like, you're going to be able to get yourself out of this situation. Because it was something you didn't know. So meditate for answers. So for some of you guys, um, I heard spirit is trying to build up your tolerance level about whatever this is. He could be trying to build up your tolerance level. And that's why something probably not the right time. So it's like collective while you're going through this. You're going to be protected. While you're going through whatever this is. You're going to be protected. Because something not the right time. Collective maybe you, you need more time to build up evidence against somebody. And if you like expose something too quick or if you give in too quick it's like something not gonna work out in your favor or something so y'all could be trying to figure out when is the right time to like expose something some of you guys y'all want to tell y'all tell on this man or you want to approach this man wife or something like that to tell her or something like that or something Or collective, your spouse done got you in a situation and you trying to figure out when's the right time to like divorce your spouse or something. Or something like that. And then we got to again, listen to your intuition. Or something is not what it appears to be. So y'all have to meditate for answers. So you're married or somebody else married. And something is not what it appears to be. So y'all have to meditate for answers. All right, Spirit, what's going on? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Y'all yeah, could be an earth sign. Don't have to be. So that's confirming. Somebody might experience stagnation or collective. You're completely committed to something or somebody else's. Collective, you could be an earth sign or somebody else's. That Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Pentacles is about complete commitment or stagnation. So let's see what that Knight of Pentacles is saying. It could be like two groups of you guys. Or collective, you could be completely committed to like some type of stagnation. You like, I'm not changing my mind or I'm not unlocking the door or something. Or I'm not telling you my new phone number or something. The Seven of Swords. So you guys could be completely committed to getting away from something or someone that you need to get away from. Or you're stagnating someone that's lying, cheating, and stealing, trying to get away with something. Or the universe is. Or y'all could be being protected. Alright. So this could be the sign. No, this... <sighs> this is the sun. <laughs> Could be the sun. <laughs> so somebody want to know who somebody's son is. Somebody trying to figure out who somebody's son is. So collective, y'all could be trying to figure out who... Um, collective, y'all could be married. And you could be trying to figure out which one of these boys is your husband's child or something. Or a Leo is lying, cheating, and selling, trying to get away with something.
or somebody trying to figure out who is who, but it could be somebody's son, or it could be a lineup. It's some men. Or somebody's parent might call the cops on their son or something. Or somebody got more than one son and somebody trying to figure out which son did it or something. Or it's a female that's pregnant and she don't know if she's having a girl or a boy yet. Or in the past, somebody could have got like a reading done or an intuitive download. And somebody's trying to figure out, is this the son? So somebody can have like um, kids, but they can have two or more sons. And somebody is like, is this him? I don't know which one or something. So collective, y'all could have got a reading when y'all was pregnant or y'all received some type of revelation, download or prophecy. And you could have more than one son and you could be trying to figure out um, which one of your sons is whatever this is that you're aware of. Or collective, you could have got a reading and the reader could have told you your son did it. So somebody could have stole some money from you or something or somebody did something and collective you like which one of my sons did it or something. Or you saying why? So y'all could probably know who did it, but y'all want to know why? Or collective, somebody thought that they can get away with something because they're your child. Or they're your son or they're connected to your son. So somebody thought, collective, this could be your son's friend or your son's lover that did something to you or something like that. And it's like somebody was th thought that they can do something and get away with it because they're connected to your son or something. Or somebody trying to blackmail somebody. The seven of swords with the sun. This is somebody trying to blackmail somebody. I just heard that. This is blackmail. Somebody's trying to get away with something by blackmailing somebody. Talking about exposure. Somebody's saying they're going to expose something. Or collective, if you're trying to blackmail somebody, be careful. Because it might become stagnant or you doing something out of step or something. It's not the right time for something. Or you're, you're committed to someone that's trying to blackmail you or something. Or something. Because it's blackmail. What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, we got a tower. Somebody could be a Scorpio with Earth placement. A tower might become stagnant or somebody's committed to causing a tower. Something could be going on with y'all ex, the king of swords. Y'all could be the king of swords or this y'all ex doing this. What's going on? Clarify the seven of swords.
the two of cups. Collective, um, somebody wants you and their spouse. Well, collective, you somebody's spouse and your lover wants you and the side piece. Somebody's lying about a soulmate connection. And somebody want their cake and eat it too. Or something like that. Or collective, somebody that's in a soulmate connection is trying to t make you be quiet about something. Or something. Or something. It's like collective. You was finna say something. It's like it's like somebody trying to make you be quiet because you was finna say something, or somebody did you to say something or something. So collective, you could be about to cause a tower moment, and it might become stagnant because it's not the right time. Collective, for some of y'all, y'all be careful because somebody's wife might commit suicide. Because this man always cheating on her or something. And it's like collective. You was like, you're like the straw that's going to break the Campbell's back. And this man's wife might kill herself or something. Or somebody was doing spell work or dark magic on you and they could be getting karma. But it's like collective. Some of y'all, it's not the right time to say something or expose something. Collective, for some of you guys, you're not going to have to say nothing. This person going to tell on themselves. Clear by the sun. We had an eight of pentacles here. So somebody wanted to expose something at work, the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be something going on at work. Or somebody was trying to prove themselves as worthy to someone. Or somebody wanted to expose that somebody was um, doing dark magic or spell work. The Eight of Pentacles. Or collective, somebody's guilty of doing something and they want to blame it on you. Or collective, somebody want to come in your energy and put something in your energy. So be careful. Somebody want to, it's like somebody was trying to prove themselves as worthy. Somebody put something together and it's like collective. Somebody want to put something in your energy. But you might stagnate something. You might say you can't come in here. Somebody probably want to come in your house or something or come inside your job. This could also be like cameras. Somebody want to put a camera in your energy or something. So it's two people working together. Or collective, it's two people that might approach you, but it's like somebody had a hidden agenda and they didn't tell the other person. So collective, say like this your crazy ex and he come to your job or come to your house with somebody else. The other person your crazy ex is with don't know that your ex got a camera that they want to put inside your house or something. Or these two people could be aware. Or just one of them is aware. But some of y'all, somebody want to expose something about you. But you're not going to let somebody in or something like that. Or somebody was doing something and they want to make it look like you did it or something. So 
I'm going to give an example. Collective, say like you a female and somebody you know, she could be married and this woman was cheating. And this man left his necklace and her energy. It's like collective, your friend want to come to your house without telling you and put her third party's necklace in, at your house or in your car or something like that. Somebody want to put something in your energy that 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 y'all don't. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Somebody want to put something in your energy. You didn't have nothing to do with this necklace or something. Or collective, you gave somebody a necklace or something. Or you was going to give somebody a necklace, but it's not the right time. Or collective, you gave somebody a necklace and it's like they want another one. And maybe this time for, for free. Or somebody wants you to give them something again or give them another one. And you like, no. Or collective, you're supposed to give this person another one, but it's not the right time. Or whatever this is. Something could be going on with a necklace. Or an amulet or a necklace. Collective, for some of you guys, if you like a spiritualist or a practitioner, your client or something could be overdoing something. And collective, don't, don't do it. Because your client or something is abusing something. Somebody's abusing something or someone. So somebody could be overly abusing some type of potion, manipulation, knowledge. Somebody's abusing something. Or something. What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles in the Tower? Having romantic thoughts about you. Yeah. <sighs> collective, for some of you guys, you a practitioner. And y'all could have been um, collective. This could be your child's father or your ex. And he could be doing something. You could have help, been helping this man put his wife under a spell. But it's like your ex still want to have sex with you. But it's like he's abusing his wife or something. But it's something like that. But it's like when you tell your ex how to do this spell, it's like your ex overdo it. And it could be backfiring or something. So collective, somebody's having romantic thoughts about you. And it might become stagnant. Or collective, somebody be buying you guilt gifts. And it could be a necklace or an amulet, but it's like a guilt gift. Or you didn't know this gift is hexed or something. For some of y'all, y'all be careful of a practitioner. Or something like that. So y'all be careful of a practitioner y'all go to for work. Or if y'all a practitioner, be careful of a client. Because somebody probably like you. Somebody be exchanging something. A necklace or something. Or somebody sells something. But it could be hexed or... Somebody misuses something or something. What's going on with the Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups? Yeah, Cup and Season, yeah. The season for relationships are coming up. Collective, for some of you guys, um, your lover could be going through a divorce or a breakup. And collective, you might have to give your, um, your lover time. Like, this woman could be very sensitive or she could be suicidal or something. 
So, yeah, something like that could be going on. So, collective, it could be like your lover soon to be ex that could be trying to blackmail you. And that's not the way to go. The season for relationships are coming up. So, Collective, you might be getting into a relationship because somebody was lying. So, it's like your lover might be leaving their ex because your lover, soon to be ex, was lying to them. Well, Collective, your lover was lying to you. And somebody could be married. So, it's like they can't have a relationship with you like they wanted to or what they were telling you. It's like they can't do that or something like that because somebody could be married. Well, somebody wanted their cake and eat it, too. What's going on with the sun with the eight of pentacles? Well, y'all be careful of somebody stringing you along. This man is, like, finna get married. And he, like, still be having romantic thoughts about you, but he could be somebody's fiance. Yeah, someone may be getting arrested, yeah. So somebody fiance or somebody soon to be ex might be getting arrested. Or something. What's going on with romantic thoughts? Not happy yet. So, collective, somebody's wife is not happy that their husband have romantic thoughts about you. Or, collective, you not happy that somebody got romantic thoughts about you. Or, this person that has romantic thoughts about you is not happy. What's going on with cuffing season? Yeah, block. Yeah. Yeah. Collective, y'all blocked somebody in the past. And this person looking for you or trying to make you talk to them or somebody wants your phone number, your new no, your new phone number. So, Collective, this person wanted cuffing season with you, but they had a different lover. Or this person was somebody's fiance or something. Or somebody wanted you to be their third party and you could have blocked them or something. Or oh, this is a karmic couple that was coming up against you. So you're going to block somebody that's not happy. Or you're going to block someone who didn't make you happy. Or you already did. Y'all changed your number. Or y'all going to block these secret accounts. Because this could be like somebody that's obsessed with you. And y'all was supposed to have cuffing season. But it's like you changed your number because you found out this person was married or something. Well, collective, you're married, and you could have found out your husband or your wife had a third party. They had, I heard they had a little girlfriend. So y'all could have blocked your husband because you found out they had a little girlfriend <laughs> or something. Or collective, somebody was dating your lover. And it's like, your lover went to the third party complaining. Collective, you could have blocked somebody when you found out about the third party. And the third party mad at you. <laughs> it's like your lover and the third party mad at you. This man might say, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. So, Collective, for some of you guys, this female might feel bad about breaking up your relationship. Collective, you could have been this man's fiance. This man proposed to you, and then you found out about her, and you could have called off the wedding or something. Or collective, your lover is taking out his anger on this woman or something. 
or something like that. Or collective. These two people was doing something. They could have been trying to hack you. They was working together like a karmic couple. What's going on with Arrested? Or a collective. Something somebody stole from you. They could be trying to come in your energy and put it back. Something somebody stole from you. They're trying to come in your energy and put it back. Or something. So it'll make it look like you were going crazy or something. Something somebody trying to do. What's going on with Arrested? Yeah, a firestorm. Karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Yeah. So somebody worried about going to jail, getting caught, evidence, um, an upcoming court case. Somebody is losing it. So collective, it might be a person or a married couple or your spouse or your soon-to-be ex that's coming to you and, and like begging you not to take something to court or something. So it could be a court case that's coming up. And somebody's getting karma, drama, they're going through endings, loss, and somebody having a mental breakdown because they might be getting arrested. Somebody wants you to drop a court case or to, like, answer the phone so they can talk to you or something. Collective, for some of you guys, it's not the right time. Don't talk to this person or these, this couple. Don't talk to these people or something like that. Because it's really this female that's, like, going crazy. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody's spouse did something to you. And this woman want to talk to you or it's like both of them could be going to jail or her husband is going to jail because something he did to you or something. And this female could be trying to talk to you or something or get in touch with you. So, Collective, for some of you guys, if a married man offended you, he might tell his wife what's going on today. Like, what, whatever this man did to you, he might actually tell her. And she gonna start crying. And she gonna say, why? Why? Or something. But, Collective, for some of you guys, this female shouldn't be mad at you. They should be mad at... She should, should, she should be mad at her husband, not at you. So, Collective, you could be completely committed to, like, bringing somebody to court or defending yourself or advocating for you for yourself. Collective, for some of you guys, it's not the right time to, like, um, proceed with something. For other you guys, it's not the right time to have a conversation um, or let these people come in your energy or this person. It's like you could be assertive over the phone. They don't need to come in your energy physically or something like that. Somebody's not happy that they got blocked and they're going through a firestorm, like a mental breakdown. Because somebody could be getting arrested. Or collective, somebody's paranoid or they got a guilty conscience and they're afraid you're going to call the cops on them or something or press charges. And collective, all you did was block them. Collective, for other you guys, this man so scared, he's going to tell his wife that he was messing around with you. Because maybe this man think you're going to call his wife and he want to tell her before you do. Or uh, something like that. That's going on too. So this man might tell his wife the truth about you or something because this man think you're going to say something or something like that. And this female might be screaming. Or collective, you pregnant? And you could be completely committed to keeping a baby or something. Collective, for some of y'all, this man's wife is going to feel sorry for you. Because this man lied to you or something. And you could have really thought that this man was like your lover. Like, or you was his one and only. This man was lying to you. So, it's like, maybe this, um... Collective, if y'all had a secret child by this man, y'all child... Something might happen to y'all child. And this man's wife... Whew, this woman gonna hit the roof.
This man wife might hit the roof. So, collector, something could have happened to, like, your child or something. So, you could have had a baby by a married man. And something could have happened to the child or something. Or it's a court case going on, but it's some secrets going on, too. So, I'm seeing, too, something going on that somebody don't know about. And y'all know how y'all watch them shows. Sometimes it happens in real court, too. Where it's like somebody, like, uh, like, um gotta pause the court proceedings because somebody like whisper something in the in the judge ear like something like that might happen like it's something that some secrets or something or it's more to a situation than it than it appear so something like that somebody might have to like pause a court proceeding and like tell a judge something one on one or expose something or something like that well, collective, it's something that you really got to tell somebody. It could be a judge or something. Well, like I said, collective, you could be the professional. It's somebody doing something. It could be like a man making his wife lie. But it's like, collective, if you meet with one and not the other, it's like somebody else might tell you the truth. But it's like if you was to meet with them together... Somebody was going to deceive you or something like that. So. Or collective, you block somebody because you don't like their spouse or something. <laughs> so somebody might lose by association because you don't like somebody's spouse or something. It's like somebody don't understand why you don't like them or something. But it's not that you don't like them. You don't like their spouse or something. Or collective, you don't somebody like your spouse. And you like, I don't, mm -mm. I'll meet with you, but not so-and-so. Because collective, you probably know so-and-so like your spouse or something like that. And it's like somebody don't know that. Or something. So let's see. Spirit, what can a collective expect in love? Work or I mean, not in love today. What can a collective expect in love and romance? What's going on with the collective today? Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Alright. Alright, Spirit, what's going on? Give me some messages from the collective lover. So your lover know they messed up everything. And your lover is starting to understand y'all connection. So collective for some of you guys. It's you. Y'all could be angry at y'all lover. And y'all could be ignoring y'all lover. But collective y'all should um, work less today. And if your lover say I want to talk to you. Collective y'all should give y'all lover the time of day. Because maybe y'all lover got to tell you something. Y'all love her probably got to tell y'all something. And your lover know they messed up everything and they're starting to understand y'all connection. Because y'all lover could be in trouble or something like that. Or collective, your lover been spying on you or something. Collective, your lover could have offended one of your clients. And your lover wanted to tell you before your client tell you. Because your lover could have been spying on you. Y'all lover could be in trouble. Because they did something. Because they were spying on you. So 
So collective, your lover could have been trying to find evidence that you was cheating and your lover didn't find nothing. And your lover starting to understand your connection that you, that they were assuming they didn't know what they was talking about or something like that. Or your lover offended somebody like one of your clients or something. You could be getting sued because of your lover or something like that. And your lover realized that you was not cheating or something. Well, collective, y'all be careful how y'all um, handle a divorce or a breakup. Some of y'all, y'all should, even though y'all breaking up, give y'all lover the time of day today. Somebody might spaz out. Um, collective, somebody might try to commit suicide. Because it's like you could be being cutthroat with your lover or your soon-to-be ex. Be careful of that. Work less. Working less will help strengthen your, your relationship. Collective, for some of you guys, y'all should give y'all lover a little bit of mercy. Because y'all have kids. If y'all have kids by your lover. Because it's like collective, if you, you know, if you have children by your soon-to-be ex, you want your ex in the best mental state and the best emotional state possible. So y'all might have to be like a little bit of, show your lover a little bit of mercy because y'all have kids together. Because somebody might go off. Somebody might jump off or something. Because you won't talk to them or something. Or you're just not showing this person mercy. This person like, damn. Like, somebody gonna just go over. <laughs> so, this could be physically. Somebody might try to jump over something. Or somebody mind. They just gonna go over. Mentally. Because you wasn't, you wasn't, you was being merciless or something. Even though your lover is wrong. Because they're starting to understand y'all connection. So, it's like collective for some of you guys. You have to give your lover a little bit of hope. So, collective, say like you breaking up with your lover. And your lover just want to talk because they starting to realize something. It's, and collective, you talking to your lover and you say, I'm glad to hear those words. I like, you know. But as for right now, we're breaking up. I'm divorcing you. If what you say is true and you changed and you realize this, maybe in the future we can get back together. But right now, we breaking up. So I heard like a little conversation might go a long way. It's like you got to give your lover some type of hope or something. In the meantime, until they get themselves together. Because y'all lover could be a little rocky, unstable, suicidal. So give them like a little bit of hope or something or let them reason with you or talk to you or something. Because they're realizing it. They know they messed up everything and they starting to understand y'all connection. So y'all lover could have did something trifling to y'all because they thought you was cheating and they might find out that you wasn't. Or your lover got to tell you something before somebody else tell you or something like that. Or it's like collective, if you don't let your lover talk to you, it's like whoever this other person is, like the third party, your lover might hurt the third party. And then it's like your lover going to end up in jail because you wouldn't talk to him or something like that. Or something like that. Yeah, some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with a narcissist. And this narcissist might go to the extreme. Yeah, because for some of y'all, your lover don't really regret lying to you. They don't really regret it. So for some of y'all, y'all lover could be a narcissist a little bit. And they don't like getting caught. So some of y'all, y'all should give y'all lover the time of day. Or, like, spend one more day with them. Y'all lover might have to go to jail, like, tomorrow or something. Or something. Or it's, like, collective. Maybe, um, your energy might help your lover, like, um, thrive in jail.
your energy before your lover go to G. We, your energy might help your lover thrive a little bit longer in jail than to just like ignore your lover dismiss them and just like the next day they got to go to jail or something or something like that For some of you guys, your lover don't really regret lying to you. Because your lover knew that if you found out what you found out, something was going to be over. It's like your lover already knew. So your lover like, I was trying to keep this a secret. And your lover, they don't regret lying to you because they knew something was going to be the way it is now or something and your lover wanted to keep it how it was or something like that or your lover didn't want to um get karma your lover did not want karma your lover didn't want to deal with the truth they didn't want to deal with reality y'all lover could have been in denial And something is happening, and it's like now your lover got to do a reality. Now they got, they're understanding y'all connection, and now they know they messed up everything. Collective, for some of you guys, your lover wanted you to think that they care less about you. So, collective, you could have been thinking that your lover could live without you. So, you adjusted to the energy your lover was putting off, and now it's like your lover wants you to work less or something. Or something. So collective, your lover was playing the game. It was. I heard they was playing the game too hard. They was playing the game too hard, and now something not funny or something like that. Or something. Somebody was playing too hard. Well, collective, your lover was doing something to you so much. And then when you started doing it back, they couldn't handle it. <laughs> and collective, spirit could be saying, your lover a sore loser. So just let it go. Because your lover probably wanted to play the game with you. And when you started playing back, y'all lover could be suicidal or something. Because you started playing the game back or something. And the angel's telling you to let it go, like stop. Because your lover might end up killing themselves or something. Or kill the third party or something. And so the angel's telling you, let it go. Like, show your love of mercy or something like that. Or try to kill you, collective. That's what I heard. Your lover was playing the game when you started playing back or you started not caring. Now your lover suicidal or something like that. So, collective working less will help strengthen your relationship. <laughs> so, just let it go. It's not the right time, collective. I'm also hearing collective, your lover is actually weaker than you. They're we weaker than you. So, collective, for some of you guys, y'all might have to let go of your strength. Whatever your strength is, because your lover was doing something to y'all. So, it's like, collective, whatever your lover's strength was, it could have been them cheating. And your strength is not caring, whatever. But, um, collective, let go of your strength or something like that. Let go of your strength. Your strength could be working. Collective is like... Collective, maybe when your lover go to work, they still think about you. When you go to work, you don't think about your lover. Collective, you like, I, I, can, I can do this for a lifetime. Because I got to work for a lifetime. So if I got to go to work to get over you, that's what I do. So it's like, collective, when your lover be at work, they still think about you. When you be at work, you don't think about your lover. 
So you might have to let go of your strength. Because <laughs> it's like your strength is making your lover lose their strength. It's like you're draining your lover. Because of your strength. Yeah. So collective, let go of your strength. Or <laughs> collective, if you a man <laughs> and you cheating on your lover, whatever your lover want to know, tell your lover and stop. Because some of y'all, your lover might fall off a bridge or push. Uh, this woman might kill herself or something. Or kill your third party or... It's like collective, this female, she thinks she know who your third party is and might offend the wrong female or something. So if y'all a man, let go of y'all strength. It's like this woman know you cheating and you could be driving her crazy or something. <laughs> let her know something or something. So this could be like you just admitting, yes, I'm cheating, but I'm not going to tell you who she is or something. Let this woman know something. Because somebody... I saw somebody go over. So that was a physical body I saw or somebody mine. Somebody going to go over the edge. So y'all need to let go of y'all strength. Especially if y'all men and y'all playing games with this female or something. I heard let her know something. <laughs> so she won't think she crazy. Or something. Especially if y'all got kids by this female. Let this female know something. So, I'm going to end it. If y'all men. <laughs> or collective, you never at home. Y'all gonna go home to a dead wife if y'all don't. Y'all better stop. <laughs> or something like that. This female going crazy. Yeah, somebody not happy. Collective, you could be a man and you block this woman. Or you change your number. <laughs> Well, collective, y'all could be married and y'all had kids by the, a third party. And collective, if you don't know, y'all third party might go crazy. Y'all could have had an outside baby. And you blocked this female. And you got her pregnant and you married and you blocked her. Somebody gonna find a dead body somewhere. Somebody better be careful. So, or something. Some of y'all, somebody could be getting karma too. So, collective, you could be um a man, and maybe your third party was mimicking your wife. So a copycat could be getting rebuked, or collective, you a female. And your lover, your spouse's third party was copying you. So somebody might, a copycat might get blocked. Or collective, your lover started cheating on you because you was working too much or something. Something. Or somebody want to have sex or something. So somebody need to be careful. So this is Luck Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Yeah. Let me use this deck. We got false accusations at the bottom of the deck. And denying paternity. Child support, dodging responsibility. 
Somebody jealous? Avoiding you, ghosting? Spirit, give me the tea. What the collector can expect today? Third party fatal attraction. Falling into a trap. Don't know how to love. Too different. <laughs> Confused. Somebody confused. And jealous here. Yeah. Whoa. Recipe for disaster. A escort selling it. Collective. Um, yep. False accusation. So something could also be a false accusation. Somebody could have been saying, collective, your lover or your spouse could have been saying you were escort and you were selling it. Or your competitor was saying you selling it or something. Or collective, this was your lover's third party. Collective, your lover was cheating on you with the third party. And what the third party was trying to make it make it look like was that you was cheating on your lover. So, collective, for some of y'all, to make your lover not feel so guilty about cheating on you, the third party was trying to make it seem like you was cheating or keeping secrets. And the third party could have been saying you're an escort and you be selling it. Or, collective, your lover third party... Was trying to get revenge on you and your lover or something. Or something. Somebody fa fa falling into a trap. Or this third party falling into a trap. Because they don't know how to love. And somebody think they special. But somebody not special. They confused and they just jealous. Yeah. Or somebody could be a player and have like several lovers. I also see somebody could be bisexual. Yeah. Like that. Somebody could be saying, I'm different. I'm different. No, this person is bisexual and they didn't want you to know <laughs> or something like that. Somebody confused and they jealous. So this y'all lover or somebody else lover? Something. And somebody don't know how to love. Falling into the trap. Yeah. So but somebody falling into a trap because they was confused. Mm-hmm. Interferes and blocks. Yep. This person could be confused and they're like a jealous person or they're jealous. Collective, somebody could be jealous of your confidence or your intuition. I saw somebody trying to block your intuition. It's like, collective, you could be like protected all the way around and somebody's trying to find a way in past your barriers or your intuition. But it's like this person can't because they're confused and they're the jealous one. They're jealous and they're confused. And I also heard, yeah, you different because you can't get in. <laughs> it's like this person, like, I'm different. I'm special. Yeah. It's like this person not smart enough to get in or something. <laughs> or collective, it's a third party and that's having a fatal attraction with your spouse. And collective, you could be married. And collective, you saying my spouse didn't marry you because you don't know how to get married or you can't get in or something. Or I'm not letting you in because you got my spouse or something. <laughs> or collective, this person is married, but their marriage was out of intimidation. It's like somebody was having a fatal attraction. This man could have been scared and married this woman or something. Or uh, something like that. Or collective, you married to somebody and somebody trying to tell you. And you like, no, you're the one who's confused and you're jealous. 
Yeah, you is different. <laughs> Cause you the one that don't know how to love and you fell into the trap. So collective, you could be saying you should have known my husband was a liar or something. <laughs> You should have knew he was a liar or something like that since you so different or something like that. So some of y'all, y'all could be protecting y'all spouse or something. This third party pissed <laughs> or something. Oh, this is y'all crazy spouse that fell for the third party. Or collective, yo, it's your spouse and a third party that's jealous of you. Or something like that. And collective, your spouse could be bragging about a third party. And you like, that's not nothing to... <laughs> collective, y'all could be looking for a divorce or a breakup or something. Because your main lover or your spouse is think, think you intimidated by this person that's confused and jealous and don't know how to love. Somebody think you jealous by something? And you like, um, no. That's not nothing to be jealous about. Or something. Somebody saying they different. Yeah, cause that's because they can't get in or they don't know how to get in. Or collective, somebody... Collective, for some of you guys, the only way to get past your barriers is to tell the truth. About whatever this is. Or something. And this person like, I'm different. Something. Yeah, they different because they a liar or something. <laughs> it's like somebody wants you to think that they're special, but collective, you know they're not special. You know they just a liar. Because you could be very intuitive or something like that. <laughs> And y'all know this person just, they don't know how to love. Or this somebody y'all done had kids by. Collective, y'all ex or y'all child's mother or child's father could be trying to make you jealous. And this person could have got you pregnant to keep you trapped. Collective, this man could be married. He could have got you pregnant to keep you trapped. And he wants you to be jealous of his wife or something like that. And you like, no. And collective, maybe this man bisexual and his wife don't know he bisexual or something. Well, collective, you don't want no parts in the LGBTQ community. So you like, why would I be jealous of you? You and your wife and y'all poly open relationship. <laughs> so collective, it could be a man out here that's saying you had a fatal attraction towards him and you fell into the trap. But in reality, this man got you pregnant on purpose. And want you to be jealous of him and his confused wife or something. Or something. So that could have been a lie. Somebody saying you the third party, it was a fatal attraction. And you, you, fought, you fell into a trap. Or this woman saying you trapped her husband or something. Or something. So, collective, you're physically not going to let someone in or energetically. You're not letting this this in or something like that. So, yeah, so that's the key. <coughs> or that could be going on with somebody y'all know. So. Yeah. Two intuition cards came out. So, collective, you could be very intuitive. Well, collective, your karmic ex want to reconcile with you when you're like, um, no. And collective, your karmic ex need to have a gra attitude of gratitude in the past when you didn't know what you know now. So it's like at one point in time, in time, you gave your ex, your karmic ex, the time of day. So your karmic ex need to have an attitude of gratitude that at one point in time, you could have been a karmic or you didn't know no better. So, yeah. Y'all karmic ex need to appreciate uh, 
when you didn't know no better. Because you know better now. <laughs> or something. So collective, you might have to say you don't you, you you need to appreciate when I was dumb in the past. I'm not giving you dumb today. Appreciate the past. You ain't getting dumb dumb today. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> collective, know your truth. Cause somebody could be trying to offend you in the present because it's something you did in the past. They was able to offend you in the past. So Collective, you could be like, it's too late. I'm not dumb no more. <laughs> and this person or these people need to appreciate. <laughs> dumb in the past. They ain't getting dumb in the present. Or collective, you ain't letting dumb in your end. <laughs> I heard you can't let dumb in and don't let dumb out <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> you ain't getting none of my dumbness. <laughs> <coughs> so y'all could be calling somebody dumb or something like that. This person could be saying, I'm different. I don't want to come in. I don't want to come in your house or something. Collective, you like, because you can't. <laughs> or something like that. Somebody confused and they jealous. And they want you to think they special or something. Or this person telling you, you scared of them or something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Mm -mm. So, somebody that's saying I'm different or I'm special is like, Collective, this person dumb or something. <laughs> Something. 